So I've been covering Gala Games on the channel for quite some time. This is a company that is trying to be the next Steam marketplace, and they've had a lot of different external publishers get into their sphere, with Spider Tanks being one of the few that actually have launched. My name is Classy Crypto. I have officially hit max rank almost deity, which is the highest rank in the Spider Tanks game. So I feel like we could give some good details on here. I was actually a former League of Legends challenger player with Masters in StarCraft and uh, a lot more like I, I'm really big into esports and competitive gaming so when I heard Spider Tanks was doing that uh, I was big into it I'm gonna give some suggestions as to what I feel would make a lot of sense for Spider Tanks moving into the future as well as just gala games in general what you should be looking forward to not only as an investor but as just someone that is interested in the blockchain ecosystem so if that's something you want to watch feel free to go ahead as always like and subscribe and let's get into it. Now, I want to start this video by talking about Spider Tanks. Now, this is one of the first releases from Gala Games, so I feel it is very important to take this game as something that could potentially be the blueprint that they're going to be using for the future. Now, Gala Games of Spider Tanks is a very simple model. You have tanks which you can go ahead and buy from the gala store you have a land where you could buy from the gala store you have planets where you could buy from the gala store you have factories you can buy from the gala store you know like a lot of things you could buy from the gala store using the gala games coin itself and in essence you own these things now i personally own a tank i own a level 30 tortoise that right now I have deployed, so whoever is lucky enough to use my level 30 perfect tortoise that I spent four hours leveling up, then congratulations! You are probably kicking ass right now. But, in essence, when you go ahead and go onto the garage and press this pilot button, you get access to all of these rented tanks that go into the pilot program, right? It's We just rent out the tanks from the dropship, and for 24 hours, you hop on there. And it's cool, you get a random tank, and it could potentially be an ancient tank. If you get an ancient tank, that's the highest rarity. You actually make somewhere around like five to 10,000 victory points a game, which it might sound like a lot, but it's actually not a lot because the way that the spider tanks economy works is a little bit dynamic. In fact, it works off the marketplace volume, and because there aren't that many people playing this game, it isn't as much as you think. So in terms of victory points, by the way, every day these get converted into silk. The last conversion rate was around 3,000 victory points equating to one silk, which is kind of ridiculous if you really think about the fact that silk at the moment actually isn't worth that much. It's worth somewhere around the ballpark of 86 cents. Now, what I will say about this 86 cents is that it was lower at some point. We were somewhere, I think, around 65 cents-ish maybe even lower at some point. We have been bouncing up. This drop that you saw wasn't because Spider Tanks randomly collapsed. It was actually because they didn't have the bridge to Ethereum enabled for people to even be able to sell this thing. As you can see, this is the contract for Ethereum, so it, it wasn't sellable for quite some time after launch. They enabled that, and the real price of Silk has come. The cool thing about that, though, is ever since this Silk drop, it's been incredibly stable, and this is an economy that works off of volume. So no matter what, you're only going to be making money if people are actually interested in playing this game, which I feel is really important. I think this is a great model. I think this is going to knock it out of the ballpark. Now, where do I draw the lines here, and what are big faults that I feel like something like Spider Tanks needs to fix before I would consider it something competitive to a regular game. Now, I'm, I'm honest on this channel. So, in essence, I think that matchmaking is broken in this game. Now, matchmaking is broken in this game only because of the fact that there's just not enough people playing this game. I'm ranked number 46 here, and there's 23 people that are max rank deity. That's the highest rank in the game. Something I've learned is that if you're going with a 30 battle rating tank, which is the highest in the game, my turtle is battle rating 30, a lot of the time, if there is a team of full deities with battle rating 30, you're going to be going against them even if your rank is like champion or gold or I'll just say gold, silver, so it's easier to understand. But it's a little bit unfair <laughs> to say the least. If you're a new player playing this game, you're not really going to understand 
uh, a lot of the different mechanics needed to play against these guys. And when you get farmed enough times, it gets frustrating. You just don't feel like playing with them. Now, to defend them, uh, a lot of the time, if you're playing on the pilot program, you're not really going to face this issue until you get to the higher echelons of the matchmaking system. However, that's something that we should definitely mention. Another thing is that perfect rolls on tanks, if you get them to level 30, is so much, it's so much stronger. So much stronger than a tank that is like zero battle rating common, like some garbage tank. So finding a way to have equalized matchmaking, which I feel is, a, is a, an easy thing to fix. It just means we need more people playing this game. That's all it really means, let's be honest. Uh, a big issue with crypto games or Web3 games, just there's not enough people playing them. If there was enough people playing them, it'd be like the that Pokemon game on mobile where you just upgraded your Pokemon. You would just go against people that had better Pokemon. That's, that's all that would end up happening no matter how much you spent. I think that model makes a lot of sense because... You know, Ancients cost $25,000. It's a ridiculous price. However, a common tank that is perfectly rolled to level 30, which I did it on stream, it was around $600, is just as competitive as a tank that is worth $25,000. The big difference is that Ancient tanks, they just make more silk. They make way more silk. So that's something you should keep in mind when you're upgrading your tanks. But that's a cool thing. If there's a world which they're rolling out Generation 2 tanks, that these get way cheaper, then it's so much better. So much better for Gala Games. However, what Gala Games has to fix is their honor system. Because this thing is garbage. This honor system is pretty much... It, it kind of gauges how many victory points you'll earn. And for new players, you start at zero. You will be earning nothing. And to some extent, it's to protect against bots. But this system needs a revamp as soon as possible. Because new people playing this game aren't earning anything. I remember doing my account, and I, and I had earned around 60 silk just playing this game with the pilot program, the free one. Uh, I can't say I can do that anymore because with 26 honor, I am earning essentially nothing, even with my own tank. So that's something they should fix immediately. Something else that is really nice to see is the news tab. However, you know, because the news tab is good because it keeps people in the game, it keeps people updated. A bad thing about this game, though, is if I can actually put myself here on my right-hand side, you're going to see this social tab. And on the social tab... There is no way to talk to people. There's no way. All you can do is invite people to your party, remove your friend. You can't talk to people. So no matter what, you have to go either in-game to talk to someone or you have to go through some other medium like Discord to talk to people. And that is not friendly at all for keeping people in this game. You should be able to have something friendly so that people can just feel like they're invited in this game and they can talk to people. There needs to be a chat function, just as simple as that. And if there's ever going to be an esports tournament on this game, um, all tank levels should be equalized. You should be able to choose any tank you want. The only factor with these ancient tanks should just be if you're actually trying to make the money in the game, that's when ancient tanks should be overpowered. They shouldn't be overpowered on tournaments. And with that being said, possible spider tanks tournament coming from classy crypto i hope you enjoyed this gala games update uh i played a, a lot of games quite frankly i played 280 games to get to diety so if you enjoy this video by the way that's with a 70 percent win rate so we won a lot of games if you enjoyed this video feel free to go ahead like and subscribe maybe recommend me the next game that you feel like has esports potential and i could just climb to rank one because uh it doesn't seem too hard to do at this point but as always stay safe stay classy and that's all